going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, this being the first year that we honor the veterans, in which they well deserve to be honored. It's been too long. So the committee's idea was to take an opportunity to uh, honor them on this Black History um, Brand Celebration. We had members calling with a complaint from our flyer in the paper that the Korean War conflict was left out or Gulf War, some of the battles that our military had fought. We just want to let you know, we couldn't put everything on the flyer, but we do honor all veterans Amen. over all the wars. We also don't just honor our young veterans. We absolutely have to honor our older veterans. If not for their service, we may or may not be here today. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce a gentleman that has served this country well. His name is John White. He served in the U.S. Army. Hometown, St. Louis, Missouri. He served during World War II. Entered service January 9, 1943. Served in the battles of Normandy Beach, France, the Battle of the Bulge and the Rhine Line, Rhine Land. He received five battle stars. Amen. I have a, a Flint Journal article. It's posted up front by the water, the water uh, fountain. When you get an opportunity, you can read that and see some of the things that he and some of his accomplishments in World War II. I'm glad to have him come give us a few minutes of how he served in the war. Glad to have him. He's 89 years young. Bad. They're so young. 
they never had a chance to live. We were the mothers and fathers. And he started crying. He prayed. He didn't pray. On the 7th of December, uh, we were rushed to a boat called Sterling Castle. And that Sterling Castle carried us to Europe. Uh, we got off the boat and carried us to a neat little army camp. And we didn't do nothing there but eat and lie. <laughs> 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 and, uh, no friends, no nothing. So finally, one fella came up, one soldier came up and said, we're going to have an invasion. We're going to invade France. Well, we, we didn't believe that. But no, you got to put it on the building in Washington. You got to generalize how old was his close knitted friend. We didn't believe that. And uh, the next week, they sent us up there in the shop with uh, our guns, red. And we zeroed into uh, the bushes. We had a bayonet. We looked to be dead then. And there was nothing there. Dry run. And it happened again. But the next time it was much different. There are 200 and 14 men in a company. And they just asked for the first platoon. And I was with that first platoon. And uh, they had a line up, throw all your pictures, your driver's license, and everything, throw them away. Your double bags, you don't want nothing. They were playing too. They gave us new gun shells. It was uh, food to last for 15 days, and then we know we were in trouble. 